On a personal basis, each of us struggles individually with some of the many adversities of mortality, such as poverty, racism, ill health, job losses or disappointments, wayward children, bad marriages or no marriages, and the effects of sin, our own or others. Yet in the midst of all of this, we have that heavenly counsel to be of good cheer and to find joy in the principles and promises of the gospel and the fruits of our labors. That counsel has always been so for prophets and for all of us. Sisters, the First Presidency is concerned about your challenges. We love you and pray for you. At the same time, we often give thanks that our physical challenges, apart from earthquakes, fires, floods, and hurricanes, are usually less than our predecessors faced. In the midst of hardships, the divine assurance is always, be of good cheer, for I will lead you along. The kingdom is yours, and the blessings thereof are yours, and the riches of eternity are yours. By following prophetic guidance, the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Yea, he said, the Lord God will disperse the powers of darkness from before you and cause the heavens to shake for your good and his name's glory. Fear not, little flock, do good. Let earth and hell combine against you, for if you are built upon my rock, they cannot prevail.